Jim, it's beautiful outside right now in Denver. A few clouds, mostly on the sunny side, but there is a chance that we get a, maybe an isolated storm to roll through for uh, tonight at Independence Eve. However, most of those storms have been collapsing before they can make it into the Denver area. Stronger line of storms out in the eastern plains right now, but we will start in the Denver area. Again, you can see there has been a little bit of rain and some thunderstorms off to our west, but really none of them have made it down into the Denver area. So we can't rule it out, but it is not that likely that we get a storm. And out on the eastern plains, take a look at this really all the way from Nebraska down through Flagler and down south. We have a strong line of storms. Some of these storms have actually turned severe. There's a lot of lightning. There's been some intense hail in these as well and some really heavy rainfall. They are moving pretty quickly and should be out of here in the next couple hours. Let's take a look at our wind speeds out in the eastern plains with those storms. It has been very windy, but from Bertha Pass through Buena Vista into Salida, we have some strong winds run 30 to 40 miles an hour. Taking a look at our future cast again, those storms are still out in the eastern plains. By 7, there may still be a little bit of activity out there and then they kick out. Can't rule it out an isolated storm in Denver tonight, but again, and it's not that likely. And then overnight tonight, there could be a few clouds tomorrow morning. We're waking up to more sunshine and it should be a really beautiful start to the day. And then tomorrow afternoon around one could have a couple storms that fire up. So the 4th of July, you're outside, you're enjoying it. High country of a chance for those storms here in Denver. Maybe a couple will pop on through throughout the afternoon and into the evening hours and then skies will clear. So they don't last for too long. If you're going to the Rockies game tomorrow or Elitches, just know there is that potential for a couple isolated storms. And out in the northeastern corner of the state and then down into the southeast, there is a chance some of those storms do potentially turn severe. It's a little cooler with those storms in the area right now. Uh, you can see it's three degrees cooler in Denver, eight for uh, Akron, 10 uh, for Burlington and up in Kimball, and also 15 degrees cooler in La Junta. So right now, 83 degrees is still fairly warm, but it is a little cooler than yesterday. 83 in Akron, 87 in Greeley, 82 out in Burlington, 82 right now in Avon and Steamboat, and 96 over in Grand Junction. Our weather watcher, Karen, reporting 83 degrees for us this evening in Superior, and we have 83 degrees here out at DIA. 84 downtown. A little gusty winds are right around 12 miles an hour. Earlier today, we had 89 degrees in Denver. 80, it's the average, so pretty much right where we should be. And the National Weather Service hasn't quite updated for DIA just yet. Tonight, we're looking at 62 degrees in Denver, 63 in Boulder, 50s out on the Eastern Plains, 53 in Eagle, and 65 over in Grand Junction. Tomorrow, it will be a hot 4th of July across Colorado. So if you're outside, stay hydrated, wear your sunscreen. 94 in Denver and Greeley, 89 in Boulder, 90 in Lyman and Burlington, 97 in La Junta, 85 in Steamboat and Eagle, 70s in uh, Frisco, and 100 over in Grand Junction tomorrow. Independence Eve tonight, we are looking at the 70s, slight chance of an isolated thunderstorm, and tomorrow night, if you're heading to the Rockies game or if you're heading to Elitches, just know there is a slight chance of some thunderstorms as well with temperatures in the 70s, but it should be a beautiful night for fireworks tonight and tomorrow and we are hot throughout the rest of the week. Temperatures will be in the mid 90s pretty much every day and then by Friday our storm chances do start to increase once again. Slight chance of those storms. All right Lauren, thank you.